One of the things that we need to do occasionally when we work with rainfall and rainfall data, because it's such an important input for hydrologic processes, is we need to make up data. In this case, we're going to talk about data that we make up to represent uh, rare or very rare storms. These are used primarily for engineering purposes, to apply a stress to a system or an input to a system that's standardized so that anybody who is interested in carrying out a similar analysis could have these data at their disposal, even if the data have not actually been observed in nature. So here are some questions. Why do we have design storms? What's a recurrence interval? What's the significance of the number 100 in a 100-year storm? And where can you find data about the depth, duration, and frequency of design storms? Well, first, the 100-year storm is a storm that has a 1 in 100 chance of occurring in any year. It isn't a storm that will occur only once in 100 years, and it has a few different characteristics, and they include the duration of the storm and the intensity of the storm. 100-year storms are developed using a statistical process that looks at the maximum annual storms that appear, uh, that have been recorded by a data recording network. By applying a statistical technique, we estimate that a storm has, a specific storm with a certain duration and intensity, has a 1 in 100 chance of occurring in any year. In order to calculate it, we take the annual record, annual rainfall record and select all of the maxima, all the maximum amounts, and we fit it to one of several probability distributions. The probability, of course, lies between 0 and 100% that this will occur. And then we use a specific recurrence interval, which is 1 over the probability, to give the storm its name and its designation. So if for example, the probability of a storm occurring is only 0.01 or 1%. 1 over 1% gives us the recurrence interval in a years. That would be the 100-year storm. The characteristics that are reported on this website that is maintained by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Agency include the recurrence interval that would be, again, the 100-year, 25-year, 50-year, 10-year designation, the depth in inches, and the duration of the storm. The interpretation? A 1,000-year storm is based on the record of, an of annual storm totals, and we have a 1 in 1,000 chance, about 0.1%, of having a storm of this depth and duration in any year. The 100-year storm, as I've already pointed out, was given the record of annual storm totals. We have a 1 in 100 chance, or about a 1% chance, of having a storm of this depth and duration in any year. A more common storm would be one that's given the record of, of the average annual storms, or annual storms. We have a 1 in 10 chance of having a storm of this depth and duration in any year. A one-year storm would be a storm that we would expect to see that in terms of depth and duration, we'd expect to see that in any year. Let's take a look at the map of the 100-year storm and the depth and duration for a, the, with a duration of one hour. The 100-year storm, as depicted here, for the Reno and Sparks area, for one hour, would have an intensity of about 0.8 to 1.6 inches per hour. So this means that in any given year, there's about a 1% chance that we would have a storm that would last for one hour and would leave anywhere between 8 tenths and 1.6 inches of rain on the landscape. So back to our questions. 
Why do we have design storms? We have design storms to indicate the severity of storms and to indicate the probability that they might happen. They provide us with a convention and a standard to use when we think about one of the major inputs in hydrologic systems. The recurrence interval represents the inverse of the probability that a storm of a specific duration and intensity will occur in any given year. The significance of the number 100 in a 100 year storm is that we have about a 1% chance of seeing a storm of this duration and depth in any given year. So it's the same thing as 1 over 100 for the probability. And where can you find data about the depth, duration, and frequency of design storms? You can find them at the web address given in this lecture that's maintained by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Agency.